Hello, hello, and welcome to Losers Become Winners for July 17, 2020. Alphas get last bar low with XLU at 36%. Yes, let's go take a look at that chart. There it is, 36% for XLU, utilities ETF. And our last bar low is right there at the bottom of this candle. So that's going to be our stop. It's at 59.14. We're doing only a penny buffer in this series also. A uh, lot of little controversy about you know how much but for this, how much but for that. We're going with the Rockwell system. Rockwell adds only one penny to the direction of the, of the trade for the buffer. Okay, so uh, XLE thirty six percent point nine uh, three hundred thirty two dollars against a owed of nineteen twenty six. Looking at second place for XLV, and XLV is here at second place. Uh, let's go, moving in a little tighter. And remember that there's only two conditions that exit the 30 day moving average. Only two. I just realized I don't like that cross here during this presentation. So let's take it away. All right. So we need to close below the 30 day moving average when we're under 30 ROI. Once we get to 30 ROI, we go to last bar low. You saw that in XL view, but not XLV. They're still short 8%. So if this is able to continue and close at 30% plus, they'll get a last bar low also. Uh, the next leader is PGR. PGR has a very small lead. Um, not the greatest, but it's there. It's, it helps. And again, it's the same situation, same rules, because the alphas are doing the 30-day moving average. That's what their that's what their challenge is. They're the 30-day moving average. So we have to get the close below the trade in here to get our out. But remember, once it gets past, once it gets past, once it hits 30.00001. Uh, as long as you got three zeros in three point zero in there, we go to the last bar low. Okay, um, that takes care of the leaders for the. Uh, oh, forgot. Uh, Noble and T joined us today. Caprice carried over, but we had an exit on Bank of America. So let's go talk about Bank of America's exit and see in action. Get to see in action the actual rule for the the thirty day moving average trading strategy. We had to close underneath the 30-day moving average line yesterday. We set our stop here at LBL, last bar low, because this is a call. We wanted to go in the up direction, but it didn't cooperate. It went out and took us out for an $85 loss per one contract. Our entry was our entry was $2.46. There's what AOC stands for, actual option cost. And we got out at 161 for a loss of $85 per contract, six contracts, a loss of 510, round up fees about $9, a little, a little, actually still under nine, but I round up to $9, come out to 519 for the loss of the trade, adding the 519 to the carry loss of the 1855 with a new loss, a new owed of 2374. So don't get too comfortable there, Bank of America. Here's why. I see a lot of price action in here, and if this baby breaks above, it might be off to the races, and as we've seen it before since September, you guys can go back and check all my videos with the green, green red sweater guy the, and the Jersey girl. Those are all exit, profit exit trades and see that it works. It does happen. We do get, we do recoup our losses. That said, let's go off to the Tigers, get them out of the way. In the Tigers, we have also last bar low with Verizon. Yeah, kind of cool to have two last bar lows in each of the challenges. That's kind of neat. Uh, let's get this down here and separate this a little bit more. There we go. So we are here at the bottom of this candle here at the last bar low right there. And that's because we got over 30. We closed above 30%. And then that was going to be looking at. It's not a lot of money because the Tigers have a, they have advantage with the price channel because the price channel will get them into more trades and probably get more wins in the long run. But their 
buying power is limited because of their capital, just smaller account. But what's the important issue here to know about, for those who have small accounts, you're still gonna get these kind of percentage wins. And then you will build your account into the larger numbers. But remember, 30%, we take 30% profit plus, why? Because 30% compound three times doubles your money. Yes, 30 times 30 times 30 doubles your money. So that's what, I, that's what the, the um, objective is to get 30% plus to be able to double the, uh, double the earnings and give them build the capital for the trade. Going on to the leaders of the second leader for the Tigers is TLT. And TLT is running here. Okay, get this going now. All right, there we are. So we have TLT and now this is price channel. So TLT is in profit, but it's under 30%. See, under 30%, you use price channel, moving average, or the dipper. We had a dipper occur right there, and the dipper matched the price channel, and our stop is at one here, remains at 165.22. That's where that's going to be sitting at. Um, and that takes us to UAA. So at UAA, we have a similar, slightly similar situation, and that is we have a small profit, and see, one of the three conditions, once you get into profit zone, profit zone, any positive in this column immediately initiates the, the profit zone rule. So let's move on here. The dipper's down here, too far from the money. The price channel's down here, too far from money, but who's closest to the money? the moving average. So our stop is now set at the moving average to hold on to the position. If we are able just to get break even or get out with a, just a smaller loss, when the big wave comes and you've seen them, they do come, then we collect our money and get out of Dodge. All right, lagging behind is Duke and Edison, and that is the conclusion of today's report for Losers Become Winners with Alphas and the Tigers having both last bar low with XLU leading the pack at 36%. I thank you very much for checking it out, and catch you later. Bye-bye.